Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a no communication reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, we're going to take a look at your person, what they might be thinking or feeling, how they might be viewing you, any possible action that they may take towards you. And we're also going to take a look at the lessons that need or needed to be learned here and get as much advice from spirit as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Leos for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we have the strength card in reverse. Some of you are dealing with another Leo. Ooh, they're viewing you as the Ace of Cups. And their possible future action is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So it could be somebody here that's really worried they've missed an opportunity. But it, this can also be like a yes, but not right now card, Leo. And I feel like you have somebody here that needs to build up their strength and their courage. For a lot of my Leos, this is not an ex. This is a secret admirer coming through for you. And we've got the Eight of Wands. It could be everything that you've wished for, everything that you've hoped for. Ooh, I feel like once things do pick up for you and this person, Leo, things are going to really take off. Pay attention to the number sequence 8-8. Eight, eight. Some of you might be born on the 8th of August. For others of you, it's just a beautiful sign of abundance and prosperity and a whole lot of potential here. But you have somebody who's wishy-washy. You have somebody who's in their feels. They don't feel like they're good enough. Six of Cups. This could be a friend, Leo, that wants to be more. But the Six of Cups tells me you've got somebody here that's crushing on you big time. And the Two of Pentacles energy in reverse. They have already decided that they want to invest in this connection, Leo. But I think they're just really nervous. They might be saving up or they might need to like, you know, they might have two jobs. So they might you know, be waiting for like a contract to be over or they might wait, be waiting until they have a little bit more time. This person has made the decision that they want this. They see potential here with you. They want this connection with the Ace of Cups. Ooh, this person feels like they're a little bit worried they might lose you with the Five of Swords or that you might detach and walk away. Yeah, that you're not going to be waiting for them. So for some of you, this could be a past person. But for a lot of you, this is somebody that like knows that you're not going to wait forever or that if they wait forever, or hesitate too long, they could lose you. All right, we have the Queen of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. So it could be a water sign, a Cancer Leo cusp, possibly in particular, or another Leo. But they have a lot of love for you, Leo. This is someone that is definitely going to make you a love offer, but they are hesitating. And I think it's because you make them nervous. Okay, my dear Leo, sorry about that little interruption there. All right, so they are definitely going to make you a love offer. I feel like this person is somebody that is very creative. They're very intuitive. They're just nervous. You make this person nervous. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, okay. Yeah, this person is definitely, they've got deep secret feelings. This person sometimes thinks about just sending you that message or just blurting it out to you. They're very physically attracted to you, but they're also, it's just, they're a secret admirer. And this person, I don't know what you've done to them, Leo, but you make them nervous. They might get, um, you know, they might get anxious around you, maybe even like sweaty or blushy around you. So that's how you'll know who they are. And they could be a Libra, but I do think that they're going to come in, ask you out. Like the decision has been made. They're just trying to figure out when and how to do it. All right. So let's see what else we need to know about this person for my Leos. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. What else do they need to know about my Leos? Yeah, look at that. This is somebody who's crushing on you hardcore. They like you, fun, flirting, wanting to date. They probably make a lot of jokes. A lot of my Leos, I think you probably already know who this person is. And they, they do want union. They want something serious. And that's what they're thinking. That's what they're imagining. That's what they're planning for, hoping for. Spirit saying, have faith. This person's coming in. They are coming in, Leo. And for those of you that don't want to wait, you might want to reach out to this person. I think they would probably reciprocate right away. So if you're feeling a little bit like, you know, I know that we like each other type energy, reach out. Yeah, spirit saying that, you know what, you're in a healthy energy, you're attracting something very healthy here. 
Yeah. And it's, it's like the past is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. I'm getting that this is not anybody from your past. Like a lot of the other readings, um, Leo have been about, you know, a past person or letting go of like a karmic soulmate or something like that. But this, this is somebody you're not in communication with that because they haven't told you how they really truly feel about you. And this person adores you. This is a really positive read. All right. Congratulations, Leo. Like it's such a nice breath of fresh air, these messages coming through. Let's see. And we have time to leave. Understand when something is no longer aligned with your path forward. So some of my Leos, um, cause that queen of wands energy in reverse, um, can also be that you've been experiencing conflict with someone else who is no good for you. It's not this person. It is not this person, but this person might know about this. So again, this could be a friend, um, who, who knows about your love life. Um, it can be a coworker, somebody who's just like around you. I do feel like spirit saying, if there's a connection around you, Leo, and it's not working, or, you know, this person's no good, let them go. Cause you've got something really solid around you right now. Yeah, this is a reminder that love has the power to heal and promote positive change. I'm getting that there's love here with this possible other Leo, maybe a Libra person, um, Cancer Pisces person possibly too, but there's there's real love here. And, I, and a lot of my Leos, you are, you're healing from something that just didn't work out or maybe you're dealing with a bit of a player and you're embarking on a new path together or separately. Yeah, new, new, new. That's the message here, Leo. You've got a secret admirer around you. They're good. You're in a healthy energy because you've either healed from this um, or you've, you've let go of or made a decision to let go of something that wasn't working out for you. And we see insecurity. I think this person around you is insecure. They might not be sure if you're done with that connection or not. But strengthening communication and spending focused quality time will make you feel heard and valued. Yeah, and I think your person is feeling a little insecure. They need a little more information about you before they before they do reach out or they make that move towards you. Because like, even though this is a no communication reading, a lot of my Leos, this is somebody that you do like have interaction with, but you just don't know that they're, you know, as into you as they are. All right, let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. Okay. We get water energy. Yeah. So spirituality, emotion, intuition, and compassion. I think you've, I think this is a strong indication that you have a water sign here or somebody with watery energy. Trust your intuition. This is a very deeply romantic connection coming your way. And we have the seventh house, profound relationships, intimacy, and romantic partnership. Leo, I kind of feel like spirit saying, let go of anybody from your past. This energy is around you. It's a secret admirer. This is your person. This is seventh, you know, the seventh house certainly can be marriage. So it could be somebody that you're just meant to be in this profound long-term relationship with. It feels so good. Let me know in the comment section down below, Leos, if these messages resonate with you. Um, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, love and light. Take care.